Hello, this is Julian with Coffee Reviews, and today we'll be reviewing the Caratina Wash Process Kenya from Manhattan Coffee Roasters. And there's the bag right there. And Manhattan based out of Rotterdam, Netherlands, and this is back-to-back -back Manhattan reviews. And that can come as no surprise as Manhattan is easily one of our favorite coffee roasters in the entire world. And earlier this year, we did review their Kian Jage, which was one of our favorite Kenyan coffees of all its time. So it was always going to be something we wanted to review anytime we saw a new Kenyan on Manhattan's offerings. Saw this in store, immediately purchased it. Looking very much forward to discussing this coffee. This right here is day 27 of this coffee. And quick side note, just like with our last video, this is another coffee that we had notes for on our old computer. So when that computer crashed, we lost all of our notes. Most of these notes are based off of memory, so they won't be as accurate as they would be otherwise. And we had to come up with a new tasting wheel, so the tasting wheel might have changed a little bit, but for the most part, doing the best with what we can. And so let's get the recipe out of the way. 16 to one water to coffee ratio at 208 degrees Fahrenheit. Liked it better through the Chemex. And the roast profile is a light European for the roast profile. And let's start discussing the coffee. Day 13, first impression, and right off the bat, black tea. This coffee just radiates black tea instantaneously, and basically a super savory black tea, a fair bit of herbals in the cup as well, and it was kind of like a ground up black tea leaves. Best descriptor I have, I'm not an expert on black tea. I'm not an expert on tea by any means. I know very little about tea. I love matcha, but aside from that, I don't drink much tea, if any tea at all. So it was just an okay first impression. Not the biggest fan of tea, not the biggest fan of black tea either. Day 15, still super strong black tea-like cup. Lighter bodied with a fair bit of acidity and a strong savory finish to the cup. Day 17, coffee's been pretty consistent to this point and the coffee did remain consistent throughout the time drinking it, which was a very direct and strong flavor profile. Again, that super savory black tea. Heavy focus on that savory black tea. And I had to look up what Cylon tea is. I actually don't know what Cylon tea is. That's the flavor notes that they have listed on here. And I believe it's a black tea. I don't know if it's a more savory black tea. Again, know nothing about tea, so I'm not gonna act like I do, but what I was experiencing was just a pretty savory black tea. Day 19, ran the coffee through the V60 and didn't necessarily enjoy it to the V60 that much as it was bringing out a lot more of the earthy and kind of herbal components to the cup of coffee. Still super savory as well, but just those factors were a little bit more noticeable through the V60. Day 21 was experiencing a little bit more in the cup at this time, a slight bit of this uh, dark berry sweetness, and it was more akin to this kind of tartar dark berry sweetness. So typically you associate that with some sort of currants and they have listed on here a blackberry. Makes a lot of sense. Blackberries can be pretty tart. So I would say, yeah, pretty similar to what we were seeing here. Day 23, slight bit more of this candy sweetness, but it was definitely in the background of what was still a really savory black teacup. So these were the two days that we probably did enjoy the coffee the most as that finish was just ever so slight in the background, but you were getting a nice bit of those berry sweet components. And then day 25, final day, we have notes and it's gone the way of the savory black tea again. And at this time, it was just that the most dominant flavor profile that we were experiencing from this cup and the decent berry fruit that we were experiencing has is no longer present. All right, let's go ahead and put up the tasting wheel so you can see what we were getting. And of course, the thing that will jump out the most is the savoriness at uh, level four. It, we've been talking about that a lot. It's a pretty savory cup of coffee. But the other things worth noting, the acidity at level three, pretty acidic cup of coffee. I think those two things are really standard for so many Kenyans. Uh, finish level three, even with a kind of lasting finish, it's not as lasting as uh, so many cups of coffee that we've had. So I think level three is perfect for that. Cleanliness level three, even though it does have that very traditional Kenyan characteristic. I still feel that the flavor profile is so clean and pronounced that it justifies a level three, which is always pretty good for Kenyans. Berry fruit level two, that's the one I probably want to discuss the most as even at its strongest, the highest it would get was a level three, which was that kind of more tart berry. And even then it would probably be pushing it at best. It was probably about a two and a half. So pretty happy with that as a two. And then the other thing is the sweetness, which won't lie, at a level two is kind of disappointing. My favorite thing about Manhattan's coffees is that they typically tend to be really sweet, and that's one of my favorite things about them. So seeing that at a level two, and not necessarily my favorite part of this cup of coffee, wish it would have been a little sweeter, but that's just what I was experiencing. All right, overall thoughts and impressions of this coffee. So this one was my least favorite coffee I've ever had from Manhattan. And I actually kind of think that that's a good thing because it does go to show that even your favorite coffee roaster will come out with a coffee from time to time that you're just not necessarily the biggest fan of. It was too in line with 
I don't know if you would call it traditional or modern canyons, kind of depending on how you want to look at it. Because I see it as a traditional canyon. This is the kind of canyons that I grew up with, unfortunately, a little more savory, a little bit more acidic, and a little bit more kind of on this savory side of things. And a lot of people see that as a more modern thing, that canyons traditionally tend to be a little bit more on the sweet side. So having it be this kind of overly savory and acidic cup of coffee that I've been discussing since I started this channel as not being my favorite, it's gonna be one of my least favorite cups of coffee. But that being said, the type of person I would suggest this coffee to is somebody that does like, whether you wanna call it a traditional or a more modern Kenyan, that really savory cup of coffee, especially if you like black tea, because one of the things I have to say about Manhattan, I said it in the last video, is these coffees are flavorful. This is a very flavorful cup of coffee. It's a very distinct and pronounced flavor, and I think that's kind of a double-edged sword. If the flavor is something that you really enjoy, then you will absolutely love the coffee. Example, Letty Bermudas being my favorite coffee of the year because the flavor was so pronounced and it was such a flavor that I enjoyed. But then you have the other side of things where if it's a flavor you don't enjoy, in this case, this black tea, then it's gonna be so pronounced and dominant that you won't like it as much as you would something that is more of your flavor profile. I think that's kind of the best way I can leave this review, but uh, I would love to know your thoughts and impressions of this coffee as well. Is it entirely me? Did I just get this coffee wrong? Was the savoriness um, not as dominant for you? Uh, were you able to pull out more of the berries, maybe some more sweetness than I could? would love to know all your thoughts and impressions of it. If you're enjoying the content, give this video a like and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. But this right here has been a review of the Kianjege Wash Process Kenya from Manhattan Coffee Roasters. Thank you for watching.